Greetings. I will be going over some of the creepiest video game easter eggs today. Starting off with Sonic CD. Sonic CD was conceived as an enhanced port of Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega CD, but it gradually developed into a separate project. It was titled Sonic the Hedgehog first, before being renamed Sonic CD. This next game is called California Speed Nintendo 64. California Speed is a racing video game developed and published by Atari Games and Midway Home Entertainment. The game was first released in arcades for Atari slash Midway Seattle Arcade System Hardware in 1998 and was ported to the Nintendo 64 in 1999 by Midway Games. The Nintendo 64 version of the game contains support for the controller pack and the rumble pack, also the full support for multiplayer mode. If you were not able to read it, the billboard said, Sometimes God takes mommies and puppies away. And sometimes, just sometimes, I do. <laughs> Headcrab Zombies Beg for Help, Half-Life 2. When I first played Headcrab Zombies, I didn't stop and listen to its garbled monster wailing. In this case, I didn't catch that their undead rambling isn't mindless, and they're actually saying something. Turns out, beneath their meaty groans, these guys are begging you for help, which can only mean the person under that headcrab is still alive and can feel everything that is happening to them. Who are you running from? Game Boy Camera. 
the Game Boy Camera, released as Pocket Camera, in Japan, is a Nintendo accessory for the handheld Game Boy game console. It was released on February 21, 1998, in Japan, and manufacturing ceased in late 2002. As a toy for user-generated content, it can be used to shoot grayscale photographs, edit them, or create original drawings, and transfer images between GBC units or to the 64DD art game Sweet Mario Artist. One of the reasons people love the Animal Crossing franchise so much is that it's so low stress. Who doesn't enjoy making daily life work with a cast of adorable critters? That's why the presence of this unsettling message in Animal Crossing New Leaf is so unexpected. If you happen to be watching the in-game television at exactly 3.33 a.m., the usual static will be interrupted. After a few moments of the screen flickering, you will be greeted by an odd sight. A red-eyed alien figure appears on the screen and utters several garbled sounds before vanishing again. In Doom 2, Icon of Sin level, the player is forced to do battle against a horned head that is able to spawn tons of enemies. The player must use a rocket launcher to attack a certain part of the head, with that splash damage hitting the actual hidden object that needs to be eliminated. That object, as it turns out, is a sprite of John Romero's head, placed behind the wall and out of sight by ID's John Carmack as a joke. Creepy Caveman Creatures, Halo 3. In the level Sierra 117, you can find them across some rocks under a ledge where the pelican is shot down, viewed with a sniper off some cliffs where players save the sergeant and under the crook of a tree in the Charlie Foxtrot chapter. Grand Theft Auto, Ghost of Mount Gordo. Between the hours of 23 and 0 at the top of Mount Gordo, located at the bend of a path on the map, 
a ghost of a woman appears. She is the spirit of Jolene Evans, deceased wife of Jock Cranley. Maybe I'm so scary. Secret Ghostly Room, Call of Duty, Finest Hour was one of the earliest installments of the Call of Duty saga. There were actually multiple secret rooms hidden throughout the single-player campaign. One is located in the underground passage level. Players will stumble across a door that can't be opened, unless you throw a couple of grenades at it. And this will lead you to a circular room that looks like it was built by some kind of cult. Another features a man playing the flute, surrounded by pictures of soldiers on the walls. The man fades away after a short while, and resembling a literal Call of Duty ghost. This is easily the creepiest thing I've ever seen. This teddy bear isn't as cute as you think, dying light. Located in the kindergarten of Old Town, the bear can be activated by pressing, turn on, repeatedly until it explodes. After the explosion, you will be rewarded with the status field projector, a grenade-like weapon that leaves enemies hovering in mid-air before being flown to the ground. <laughs> 